Hi guys, welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. So let's get started. Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. And today what I'm gonna show you is a pickup from my Zacon ground beef. So let's get started. Hi guys, I'm on my way to pick up another Zacon order. Um, I bought some 93.7% Hamburg. So I'm on my way to Beverly Hills to pick up my Zacon order. And this is the way to Beverly Hills. It's kind of a back road. And at the intersection, I'll go straight across. The VA hospital to the left. Black Diamond beautiful golf course This is Beverly Hills, we're in it. You can see the shopping plaza over there. Right after this motel sign, I'll be taking a right. Beverly Hills Boulevard because I have to pick up the meat at Beverly Hills Civic Center. So this is a nice old community. And you know what? Zacon is already here and it's 946. And the hours to pick up my ground beef was between 10.30 and 11. So he's early. I'm glad I came early. Usually when I do come early, he is here early. Just one time he was late and that's because his truck broke down. But other than that, he's been really, really good. There he is. He must have just got here. Well, that was quick. Here it is, 948, and I'm on my way home already. This Zacon guy is really good. He's always here early. Except for, like I said, that one time, and I mean, it was a mechanical, so it was no, no fault of his. So now I'm on my way home, and I'll package up my ground beef. I just arrived at home, so I'll be taking out my Zacon ground beef out of the back of my vehicle. So now I'll bring it into the house. I just got in the house and this is my package of ground beef from Zacon. And here on the box you can see that it was packed on 7-1. And it is the 93-7, the fine ground beef. And today is the 10th. You can see on the package here it says 38.5 pounds. It's supposed to actually be 40 pounds but they do give you credit for the difference. And this is how it comes. So I'll package it into about two pound packages. I'll estimate it. So 
remove one. Put on some gloves. So I have my gloves on because I don't want to get ground beef underneath my fingernails. And for my sealer bags, I'm using this brand. So I'll seal one end. That's good. I'll slice it about right here. I'm just estimating how big I need it. Now for my ground beef, I have my knife and I'll slice it open. This looks like about two pounds. I'll put it in my package. My little sealer bag. I could have actually cut it just a little bit smaller. I'll do that with the next bag. And like I said, that Zacon driver, he's very, very nice. That looks about good. Good enough. Now I'll go another one. That looks about the same. I do have another order coming up. I purchased some chicken patties, bacon, and tenderloins. So it'll be my first time trying all three. So I'll let you know how they taste. I heard the bacon is really good, so that's why I had to buy it. Hopefully I have enough here to do the rest of the Hamburg. Otherwise I could use the store brand baggies because I don't feel like running out. The Ziploc seems to work the best. This one would be a little bit smaller. But that's okay. Sometimes I only need a little bit. this one in there. I'll add to this one. I don't think I should be wearing a white shirt. <laughs> I'll take the second one out. Cut this one open. Continue on. Keep sealing the bottoms of the bags and filling them. This ground beef is really, really good. I ran out of ground beef. I finished the first box that we purchased. It lasted us a while. So that's why I ordered more and I figured let me try the 93.7. 
When I did run out of ground beef, I did go to the store and I purchased some ground beef at the store and my son noticed a big difference because he was like, boy, I really don't like this hamburger. And I said, well, it's a store-bought hamburger. There is a difference, believe it or not. It's about two pounds, maybe a little bit more than two pounds per package. Some of it could be less, I'm just estimating it. But that's the second roll. Once I'm done with my food saver, I really wash it, clean it up. Because I'm working with raw beef here. Running out of room here. I don't know if I can fit any in here. I'll try. Kind of thin out the roundness. Bag is just kind of small. Made it fit. Hopefully I can seal it. Sometimes my recipes, I only need a little bit of hamburg anyway, so this is good. That's perfect. Now I ran out of the Ziploc bags, so now I gotta use the store brand. I don't feel like running to the store midstream. Two more bags. The last of the ground beef. In the chicken patties and tenderloins. I also ordered uh, more chicken breasts, but that won't be in until I believe sometime in August. I couldn't pass it up. They had it on sale again. Freezer. Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking and watching another Zacon order. I'll leave the link below for you to check out the Zacon in your area. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Bye bye. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking. 
please hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.